I welcome this motion from the member for Mayo, a most excellent member, uh, and her private member's motion around support for pensioners. And I want to talk specifically about deeming rates, because by keeping the deeming rate so low, this government is effectively stealing from pensioners. A low deeming rate is effectively a cut to the pension, Mr Deputy Speaker. And while the government has reduced deeming rates for the first time since 2015, it has not adequately responded to the changes in the cash rate. So part pensioners who have saved all their lives and have invested their savings to allow them some little bit of comfort in retirement are being robbed by this government. There is no doubt that older Australians are feeling the pinch. Members are hearing about it all over Australia, but it particularly resonates in a seat such as mine, Shortland, where one in five people are aged over 65. They have written to me, phoned me and bailed me up at mobile offices and events out in the community to tell me how they are not managing to keep up with the cost of living. You tell me which bank they ask will give me anywhere near the interest rate that the government says I'm getting. And I can't tell them. In fact, I've written to the Treasurer asking him to nominate a bank offering deposit rates equivalent to the deeming rate, and he's failed to respond. And the truth is, no bank will. Of course, those on the other side will say that there are other ways to invest to gain a greater return. But we all know that part pensioners cannot be risky with their savings. They cannot take the chance that they will end up losing it all. And so the bank is their option. And the bank is not paying anywhere near what the government deems it to be. Deputy Speaker, it's a cruel joke, a cruel joke that is being played on older Australians, but it's not new. For years, the Liberals and Nationals have been shortchanging pensioners with inflated deeming rates. The Reserve Bank cut interest rates five times between May 2015 and July 2019, with the cash rate now at a record low of just 1 per cent. But the Liberal National Government didn't announce a single change in the deeming rate during this time, setting them as high as 3.25 per cent. This meant many thousands of people were pushed onto the part pension or received a lower rate of the pension. Although the government recently adjusted the deeming rate, it is still too little too late, and deeming rates are still as high as 3 per cent. The Liberals and Nationals had to be dragged kicking and screaming to make even this small change to the deeming rate, with pensioners groups and Labor running a campaign to make them fairer. The failure of the Liberals and Nationals to recognise the pressure on pensioners' budget should not come as a surprise. After all, cutting the pension is in the Liberals' DNA. Despite promising no cuts to the pension in 2013, this government's track record is the opposite. In 2014, the Liberals and Nationals tried to cut pension indexation, a cut that would have meant pensioners would have been forced to live on $80 a week less within 10 years. In the same 2014 budget, the Liberals slashed $1 billion from pensioner concessions, support designed to help pensioners with the cost of living. In 2015, as Social Services Minister, Scott Morrison did a deal with the Greens' political party to cut the pension to around 370,000 pensioners by as much as $12,000 a year by changing their pension assets test. And in 2016, the Liberals tried to cut the pension to around 190,000 pensioners as part of their plan to limit overseas travel for pensioners to six weeks. And for two years now, the Liberals and Nationals plan to scrap the energy supplement, cutting the age pension for 1.5 million pensioners. For four years, the Liberals have also tried to raise the pension age to 70. And to add insult on top of injury, this government has cut and outsourced over 2,500 jobs from Centrelink. This has coincided with a blowout in call wait times to Centrelink and wait times for pension applications. It is now too hard to access the pension, with many people waiting many, many months for payments to come through. And Mr Deputy Speaker, Labor fought each and every one of these Liberal cuts to the pension tooth and nail. History shows that the current Prime Minister will cut the pension the next chance he gets. It doesn't matter who leads the Liberals or Nationals, cuts to the pension are in their DNA. Labor will continue to stand up for pensioners and hold the government to account on deeming rates. By holding the deeming rate up so high, they are in, uh, uh, imposing a cut by stealth on part pensioners. It is unacceptable. It, it stands in stark contrast to their professed love for pensioners and self-funded retirees that they exhibited at the last election. It is hypocrisy writ large by this Liberal National Party government. I've been very active in opposing it. I've been very active on behalf of the one in five people in Shortland over the age of 65 in saying deeming rates must be reduced now.